Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mesmo channel. In today's video I want to show you guys my new numeric display or 7 segment display uh, which has the counter functionality as well as uh, direct data or direct memory access uh, besides a bunch of very much uh, desirable properties. Last time I showed you guys a design for a 4x7 uh, numeric display uh, but these ones have about the same time except the resolution is a little bit smaller uh, in here because some people prefer these but uh, yeah they are still four wide in total as you can see here but they tile side by side so there is only one a one uh, block gap in between uh, and here this is how long they are so 10 blocks for the digits for encoding the digits and then one two three blocks plus the, the display itself in between and down here I'm using some 1.16 technology with uh, to make a signal strength uh, decoder meaning you can input signal strength directly into it and it will translate it into a displayable number in here uh, within this size you can also have a counter which I have included in here so if I touch this note block uh, you can see that the counter increases I can do this a couple of times so now it's going to be two and three and four and there is a reset button I can press so it goes back to zero uh, in here you can see how they tile and uh, within this space uh, the counter has or the display has uh, everything it needs <laughs> including the carry system so uh, if I increase the counter here so you can see the number is three two five nine if I increase it once again it's going to be zero here and it's going to carry to the next digit so it's now three two six zero I can now see hook it up to a clock so this is the clock I'm hooking this up to and then uh, basically you can count whatever you want uh, it can go faster than that as well if you want so like this so the torch doesn't burn out if you go too fast it might make a little bit of sound but other than that it shouldn't make any sounds because uh, it's completely uh, solid state meaning there are no pistons or anything that is supposed to make any noises so the display itself including the decoder doesn't have any droppers either uh, I'm using a dropper here for the counter but the counter is something that you can replace you don't need to use this counter uh, specifically and uh, yeah so these ones will count up uh, while this one will count down so you see 722 is going to become 721 if I press this button or interact with uh, the note block so seven two one and then if I turn on a clock in here nine eight seven six and then again yeah, it's going to decrease and it's also going to carry uh, when it decreases so zero see it goes back to nine and then this one starts decreasing as well so very simple to use as well uh, and uh, once the, the reset also auto tiles so if I press this button here it will reset the entire counter see it's all zeros now and this one do the same thing it will reset to all nines if you decide to use this design as a counter there is one thing that you need to take into account uh, which is this uh, this little piece in here at the back so if, it, if it's like this which is the the, the standard then it's going to count up uh, and if it's if you want it to count down this is what you need to change this little piece of redstone dust in here so uh, these will count down so let me show you the difference now so instead of connecting uh, to instead of subtracting from a comparator it subtracts from a comparator that subtracts from the comparator basically inverting uh, signal strength values in here uh, and those are the contents of the furnace uh, and here on the side finally you can see the the display uh, without the counter included the counter I managed to fit the counter uh, within uh, this space in here so this purple or yeah purple circuit uh, and here there's just no counter so you can try to fit your own uh, redstone technology within this space or use whatever space you need for this this also shows that this this display can be turned off which is a feature that I very much like uh, actually any of those can be turned off let me let me uh, a quick demonstration to you guys by advancing this uh, yeah let's advance the counter 
And then if I go here at the back, I can basically turn any of those off. So if I flick the lever in here, uh, those two digits are going to be off now. They're not going to display anything, see? <laughs> no lamps. But they still will they will keep their, their state. So let me show you guys what happens if I turn those back on. Turn on. All you have to do is to give it strong power in here and it will turn it off because it basically um, overrides the signal from the signal strength decoder. See? It keeps the state, so it doesn't interfere with the memory that uh, tells the counter which number it contains uh, currently, because the memory is here at the front. Here, this one is turned off, and th this is just to show you that you can set this to whatever number you want. So, if I flick this one, we're going to see 0, if you flick this one, so this should be 1, 2, and 3, if I flick this one, see? So basically, you can use this for your uh, computer, say Minecraft, or any mini games because this will show any numbers that you want. You don't need to use the counter or anything. You can just do your own calculations and then send the result to the display and it will do it. And it, this is all thanks to this insanely small uh, signal strength decoder that I came up with using uh, 1.16 technology, the, the, the target blocks. So this is pretty cool, pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, and finally here is just to show you guys all the digits, so how, how it looks when it's off, when it's zero, when it's one, and so on, and then how it's flush with the wall. And at the back here I just used a different method for setting the digits, so I'm um, using a lectern. <laughs> so basically you can display the thing you want here, so this one says off, and uh, yeah I can just set it to let's say five in here from the back, and it's going to display a5 instead of being off. Uh, I guess I forgot to show you guys how uh, it wraps around when it reaches the maximum level. Uh, although you guys saw that, uh, so if it's 9 and you uh, give it another click or another pulse, it will go back to 0 automatically if you use the counter mechanism. I use it the same trick I use it for my up and down counter for uh, these, uh, these versions of counters. And you can actually spam the input in here but it will sound if you use the same counter as I am doing in here. But it will not break ever, <laughs> which is great. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, I guess that is all. This is, yeah. Uh, I would like to make those more compact by shaving off those two layers at the top in here. So it look more like uh, these one in here. But uh, other than that, I think these are pretty good, ready to be used in a lot of projects. So yeah, you guys can let me know in the comments if you want to have a schematic or map download for these. Uh, actually, I have, <laughs> I don't know why I keep making those numeric displays, but I have another video to make where I will talk about more about uh, the encoding and the things that we, the, the things that I find fun about uh, those kinds of projects. Uh, and then I will try to make a big, big map download to you guys where I include uh, these displays in here as well as these as well as the piston version that I showcased uh, months ago <laughs> to you guys as well as some new technology that you guys might be interested uh, related to these uh, displays so this should be really really cool really useful all in one uh, big package so yeah you guys can leave a like if you enjoyed the video um, hope that this is useful to the community and uh, thank you guys very much for watching hope to see you soon goodbye